Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this TM1638 module. Actually, this one is uh, labeled as QYF and then dash TM1638. So this is a very nice module. It can be programmed with 16 different functions. So for example, at the, at the moment, this shows Robojax as, as if this is an X38. So this can be programmed to display a value, mostly at numbers, or a hex value on the screen. But the function of the screen can be selected and changed by buttons. So you can program this that when you press this, it shows one thing. And when you press, for example, this, it shows a counter. When you press this, it shows a counter without a zero. And this is the hex value of the counter. This is the hex value without a zero. And this is the binary value of uh, this, 254. So that was a binary. And also some other values um, you can set. So for example, this is set to display error. You can do that. And also here's ABC and it, the decimal point just moves here. And here is 11 is pressed, 12 pressed, 13, 14. And I put here RoboJax. And then here uh, again it goes at zero. So we have eight digits. Each digit has a decimal point. That's nice because if you want to display something, you can also put a decimal point. And they are independent, lay controlled. So the main chip is the TM1638. And then we have these four, five pens. So the, the bottom one is VCC, which can work with 5 volts, and then the ground, ground is at the top, and then STORB, STB, CLK, that's clock, and then DIO, digital data input output. So the three pens are here. And then we have a matrix of 16 pens, so they have been labeled as S1, S2, up to S16, switch 1, switch, switch 2. On this side we don't have anything, so it has four screw uh, spots that you can uh, attach it. So let me measure it. See what is the that is 69 millimeters. By seven, so 60.9 by 6.9, so 69 millimeter by 69 millimeter or 70 millimeters. So that's the size. At the moment, I'm, I'm just going to explain how this can be used, and I'm providing you the code, but in my upcoming videos, I'm going to show you that, for example, in a temperature control, this can be pressed, it shows uh, Celsius, this can be pressed, it shows, for example, Fahrenheit, the other button will be pressed, it shows the voltage at some point, so you can show a lot of parameters assigned to these buttons, and it will display it. So I've downloaded it from the GitHub. This is the uh, page. I'm going to provide you the link. So you just uh, click and then download it. OK, so when it asks you to download, let's say or download, I'm downloading it in Arduino. So it will ask me to replace it. I will say no. But let me just show you. It has been completed here. Show in folder. Now this is a folder and then the zip file. So right click 7zip. If you don't have 7zip, just get it from 7zip.org. It's free and click extract here. Once you click, it will create a folder with the same name and all the files. So there are tons of other stuff which is needed. Just right click here, copy and then take it to your Arduino. In my case, this is the Arduino folder which are the Arduino have been installed or downloaded. I'm running this file to run my Arduino, but here is library. Just go in the library, somewhere in the blank area, click paste. So I have the code here. It has been pasted. Once you got that one, then you can go and open Arduino. So my Arduino is open, but, so, but here is how you can open it. Again, go to file, example, and scroll down until you see TM1638 library and all these examples are included. The one that I'm using with this is the last one which, say, which has QYF functions. 
So when it loads initially, you get the counter, which starts from zero, and then you see this blank. So, so this is working. Now let me show you the explanation here. So this line is specifically for the chip, which you, when you download it, it will be included. The second line is because of this number of buttons and extra feature, so don't worry about it. As I mentioned, these, this is the storb, this is the clock, and this is the digital uh, output. When I post this on robojax.com, which the link will be at the description, I will provide with a label so you will not make mistake. The, that was the only thing that you do. So the rest is we have one method here called update. So inside the setup, they just put start time and module set display through. So you don't need to do any setup here and, and you don't need to do anything else to make it work. So this, the job of this one is that when you press a button, it gets the button. So, so don't worry about that. Here is a part that will do the work. So this is the pen, the button zero as we call it here, it's, it's, it's labeled as S1. So button one, two, three, four, five, six, and so forth. So this is called zero. So it starts with zero and ends with 15. So in each case, it does something here. So when you press zero, this will run. You see the second, so this is running the time it, when the different modes. So here it has a decimal, it shows as a decimal, decimal, and here it shows it as a hex and other hex. So this is a decimal with the digit. This is a decimal without the digit. Okay, this is a hex, hex, and then binary. And after that, it shows sec second. And so when you press, uh, so this is a pen zero, pen one, two, this is pen three, four, but the numbers of uh, are showing multiple, so don't worry. This is you see that binary, it says uh, eight. So, so one, two, three, four, five. The fifth button. So this one shows the binary. Again, I'm gonna label this the code that I provide, but the original code is like this. So, and then here it shows uh, A B C D, and then the button. So the last one when you press it. It just shows the decimal point because they have not included all the uh, buttons. So this doesn't go. It shows up to up to error, and after that, nothing is included. So A B C. Sorry, yeah. After the pen ten is not included, so this goes up to pen ten. Now let me show you the code that I have modified. This is the code which I'm gonna provide. To you here I've downloaded the code from this address address will be provided because the person has made some modification here and I've made some changes so the pen 5 pen 5 is a storb stb and 3 is the data input output and 2 is the clock so they are respectively connected to the to there and then you don't do anything at the setup do not change it because this will not affect the way you are operating it and then we have a method called update. So let me scroll down. The loop, which is the main Arduino loop, this is just calling the update with passing this two parameter module and mode as a reference. So they are passing by reference, as you can see here, because they have been defined here mode and module. So by default, it goes to mode zero. Mode zero is when you press pen zero. Mode is pen. So now this is pin one, it shows. The mode is the switch or the, the, the one that you press. Just have been laid or S1, S2, S3 up to S16, but here the values are different. So this one is zero, that is switch one, that is switch two, that is switch three, four. Up to here it makes sense because you can just subtract, but here it jumps to eight. So that is fifth, that is sixth switch, seven and so forth so they are just becoming uh, squared okay so one two four four is a squared eight becomes 16 and so forth so th these are 
like bets. So so here it says press 9. So any of those, it says set display to a string because we want to display text usually. Now, for example, you want to show that when button 2 is pressed, this is button 2, it shows 126 degrees Celsius. And when button 3 is pressed, it shows 258 Fahrenheit. So uh, let me just upload the code. So the code have been uploaded, so here 126 degrees Celsius, and this shows 258.8 uh, the Fahrenheit. And then you can press uh, program any of those. So what you do is instead of uh, getting just this value, you have to do some calculation here, and the result of a calculation, you just bring it as a string, and it will be done. So that's it. Uh, I'm going to post uh, my videos to show you the... Uh, I'm going to program this, as I mentioned, so this one will show Celsius, this shows, let's say, Fahrenheit, this shows the voltage or something else, because I will not have 16 different things to display, but at least I will try to show three or four items, so that will be coming in a few days. Thank you for watching, please thumb up and also please subscribe if you want to get updates of my upcoming videos.